God, fortune is my portion in 2024. Jeremy Rice, this morning, let's lift up our voice and I appreciate this good God who has done us well and has brought us into his presence to bless us. Let's magnify him and celebrate him. He said, early will I seek thee, O Lord, to see thy glory and to see thy power. And that is why we have appeared before you in Zion to benefit of your goodness this morning. Lift up your voice, appreciate him, and magnify him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Who healed all our diseases, who forgiveth all our iniquities. Let's appreciate him this morning and give him all the glory that is due unto him. You slept, you awoke all because he sustained you. He has brought you into his house this morning. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Lift up your voice and appreciate him. Give him thanks and give him praise for his faithfulness, for his lovely kindness, for all that God has done, for all that he will yet do. Let's say, Father, we thank you. Our God in our midst has been mighty. He has saved. We will rejoice over him with joy. Let's lift up our voice. Appreciate him this morning. Celebrate him. Give him thanks and give him praise. Why not begin to lift up your heart and lift up your voice unto him, asking for the spirit of grace and supplication this morning. He said, without me, you can do nothing. Ask for the spirit afresh upon you this morning. Let his hand come afresh upon us this day. Let your word come afresh upon me this day. I desire an encounter with your word. That same word that is able to build and to give us our inheritances. That is why we have appeared before you this morning. Father, send me my word afresh. Lord, send me my word. The word is season. The word of transformation. That same word that will set me up part for the day. Lord, I seek your word afresh. Release upon me your word in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Lift up your heart. Wave your hands unto God for all that is said to do in our midst this morning. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory. Wave your hands unto God. Father, we thank you. We magnify your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Why not put your hands together for Jesus this morning? We make welcome the priesthood. Come on, somebody worship him. You are the mighty God. How excellent is your name. You are the mighty God. How excellent is your name, glorious God, glorious God, glorious is your name. to him this morning.
We bless you, Lord, you are holy, and forever you are God. We bless you, Lord, you are holy, and forever you are God, and forever you are God. together for Jesus as you get seated in his presence. We shall be rising to commence with saying, Father, thanks. Turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and this church. Your image can be stronger. Isaiah 45, 41 and in verse 15, Behold, I will make thee a sharp threshing instrument. Having teeth, thou shalt thresh the mountain and beat them small. In that scriptural light, let's be on our feet as we begin to pray, saying, Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and this church. Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and this church. Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and this church. Father, Turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and this church. Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and into this church. Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and into this church. Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and into this church. Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and into this church. Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and into this church. Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and into this church. Lift up your voices. Pray some more, saying, Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and into this church. Father, turn everyone on the harvest field all through this week into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest into the kingdom and into this church. Lift up your voices. Pray some more in your understanding. And pray it in the Holy Ghost also. Saying, Father, turn everyone on the harvest field. All through this week into a sharp threshing instrument. For effectiveness in reaping the harvest. Into the kingdom. And into this church. Repodos keros kelo prekedosa. Ipredos zuteliandeta. Meneno sakato sharabaradata. Repekosha li plekiripa. Imeno zuperedosa. Mekledize roche le dosa. Iprakira li pekenopa. Meneno zupekedosa. Ipredisa li kenenosa. Iprakiripa. Marado zupekato sharaba. Ibradoze ros ketenopa. Ibredizi teriandere dosa. Rapakosha li kenenosa. Give him thanks. And give him praise. Father, we thank you for hearing and answering us. To you be all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together for his glory as you get seated. Next one we'll rise, we're saying, Father, supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts so they can settle down in this church. Taking root downwards and bear fruit upwards. Isaiah 37 and verse 31. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. Please let's rise as we pray. Saying, Father, supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts so they can settle down in this church. Lift up your voice. Everyone this morning we are praying our Father and our God supernaturally meet the needs, meet the needs, all the needs of our new converts, so they can settle down in this church. Uh, take care of downwards and bear fruit upwards. Uh, lift up your voice. Someone is praying this morning. Everyone everywhere, we are placing a demand, our Father, supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts. Uh, all the needs of all our new converts, supernaturally meet them. Their physical needs, their spiritual needs, uh, their financial needs, uh, our Father, supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts uh, so they can settle down uh, in this church, uh, bearing root downwards, uh, producing fruit upwards. Lift up your voice. Uh, someone is praying this morning. Engage your heart, engage your faith. Uh, we are placing a demand uh, for the meeting of the needs of all our new converts. Uh, our Father and our God. Uh, we are asking 
supernaturally, divinely meet the needs of all our new converts, uh, every single one of them, male and female, uh, both the young and the old, uh, meet the needs of all our new converts uh, so they can settle down, uh, they can abide, uh, they can be rooted and grounded uh, in the faith and in this church for life. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, pray some more this morning. Everyone, everywhere, we are traveling on the prayer altar, asking our Father, supernaturally, meet the needs of all our new converts, uh, supernaturally, satisfy the desires uh, of all our new converts, uh, so they can settle down uh, in this church, uh, so they can bear root downwards uh, and start producing fruit upwards, uh, open testimonies uh, in the name uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, someone is yet praying, uh, lift up your voice. Uh, pray some more this morning. You are engaging your heart, you are engaging your faith. Uh, you are traveling uh, on the prayer altar. Remember, that openness the hand uh, and satisfy the desires uh, of every living thing. Our Father, satisfy the desires uh, of all our new converts. Uh, meet them at the point of their needs. Uh, in the name uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, open your hand. Uh, satisfy uh, all of the desires. Uh, meet the needs uh, of all our new converts uh, supernaturally. In the name of uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, someone lift up your voice or more. Cry out with faith. Uh, cry out believing. Uh, every desire. All the needs uh, of our new convert. Uh, our Father supernaturally. Meet the needs. Uh, meet the needs. Uh, meet the needs uh, of all our new converts. Uh, in the name uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, their spiritual needs. Uh, their physical needs. Uh, their health needs. Uh, their marital needs. Uh, all the needs of all our new converts. Our Father, supernaturally, let those needs be met uh, so they can settle down uh, in the faith and in this church for life. Uh, in the name uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, lift up your voice. Uh, someone pray some more this morning. Cry out. Uh, we are praying for the establishment of all our new converts, uh, every single one of them, bearing root downwards, uh, being rooted and grounded in the faith uh, and in this church for life, uh, producing fruit upwards, uh, open testimonies, uh, public testimonies uh, that all eyes can see. Uh, our Father, as you begin to meet their needs uh, supernaturally, cause every single one of our new converts uh, to be rooted and grounded uh, and established uh, in this church, uh, in the faith, uh, in the name uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, not one of not one of them is permitted to be lost uh, in the name uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, our Father, supernaturally meet all the needs uh, of all our new come. Now let's appreciate Him. He has had us this morning. Our prayers are answered in the name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated. Will you be rising up to pray? I'll be praying in this manner. Father, draft great multitudes into our services this coming Sunday and grant every worshiper a life transforming encounter with your word. Isaiah 9 and verse 8. The Lord sent a word into Jacob and it alighted upon Israel. Please let's rise. Together let's pray. Father, draft great multitudes into our services this coming Sunday and grant every worshiper a life transforming encounter with your word. Lift up your voice. Let's go before the Lord this morning with fervency of heart. Almighty God, drive great multitude into our services this coming Sunday and grant every worshiper a life transforming encounter with your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, drive great multitude, O Lord God, into our services this coming Sunday and grant to every worshiper a life transforming encounter with your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the power of your word, let every worshiper experience a life-transforming encounter this next Sunday services. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, let it be our God and our King that your mighty hand will drop great multitudes into our services this coming Sunday. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this is our heart cry this morning, Almighty God. Hear us and hearken unto us. By drafting great multitudes, multitude beyond our widest imagination, 
into our services this coming Sunday and granting to every worshiper a life-transforming encounter by the power of your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be, Lord Jesus. Let it be, Lord Jesus, that by the power of your word, every worshiper next Sunday we experience a life-transforming encounter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask this of you this morning. Hear us and hearken unto us in the precious name of Jesus. Father, drive great multitudes into our services this coming Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask of you, Almighty God, drive great multitude, multitude beyond number, multitude that will come and abide into our services this coming Sunday and grant to every one of us a life-transforming encounter with your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Let your voice be registered in heaven this morning. Pray with the whole of your heart and give with all fervency. And give with all fervency. Call upon the name of Jesus, the name that can never fail. Our God and our King, we ask of you this morning, drive great multitudes into our services this coming Sunday and grant to every worshiper a life-transforming encounter with your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the season world come forth in our midst this Sunday coming. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the word of power, the word of grace, the, the word with capacity to transform every one of us, positively so. Let it answer to us this Sunday. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our eyes are home to you, Lord Jesus. Our eyes are home to you, Lord Jesus. Drive great multitude from the nooks and cranny of Lagos and the environ into our services this coming Sunday and grant to every worshiper a life-transforming encounter with your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Transform every one of us by the power of your word this Sunday coming in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let every service deliver your life-transforming word into every worshiper in the precious name of Jesus Christ, we ask of you this morning, Almighty God, drive great multitude into our services this coming Sunday and grant every worshiper a life-transforming encounter with the power of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lift up your hand, give him thanks, a prayer hands to God. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' great name, we have prayed. Please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. Next, to be rising to pray. We're saying, Father, let this church continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the Acts of the Apostles, thereby establishing her as an ever increasing city without walls. A louder amen. Acts chapter 13 at verse 44. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. Please rise with me this morning to so lift up our voices. We're placing the mind. Our Father, in the name of Jesus. Let this church continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the house of the apostles, thereby establishing her as an ever-increasing city without walls. We are calling for supernatural growth by the hand of God. Make sure God is hearing your voice this morning. Our Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ, let this church continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the house of the apostles, when the Holy Spirit came, he multiplied the church several food. That's our desire this morning. Father, that this church will continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the acts of the apostles. The Holy Spirit is the one that gives increases. He did it in the days of the apostles. He's doing it again in our midst. Our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this church continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the acts of the apostles thereby establishing her as an ever-increasing city without walls 
our demand this morning is that the God of all increase uh, will continue to cause us to enjoy supernatural growth, enlargement on every side. In the name of Jesus, we are calling for increasing impact on all people. In the name of Jesus, our Father, let this church continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the acts of the apostles, thereby establishing her as an ever-increasing city without walls. That's our desire this morning. It's a demand on the prayer altar. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, let this church continue to experience supernatural growth, growth by the supernatural hand of God. After the order of the acts of the apostles, the way you did it in the days of the apostles, do it again this time. Increase us continually. Enlarge us by your hand. Let us enjoy supernatural growth continuously. After the order of the house of the apostles, thereby establishing her as an ever-increasing city without walls. Enlarging her. Increasing her. Expanding her influence in the name of Jesus. That's our desire this morning. That in the name of Jesus, this church will continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the acts of the apostles, thereby establishing her as an ever-increasing city without walls. In the name of Jesus, almost the whole city come together. Let that become our testimony from Sunday to Sunday, Wednesday to Wednesday, every of our services. In the name of Jesus, let this church continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the acts of the apostles, thereby establishing her as an ever-increasing city without walls. That's our demand on the prayer altar this morning. Our Father, that this church will continue to experience supernatural growth. After the order of the acts of the apostles, you have declared you are able to make us a thousand times more than we are. That's our demand this morning. Establishing her as an ever increasing city without walls. Establishing with demand for supernatural growth, as the Ketemana Katori, as the Kuturunda, Ramanan Shatara, Ratekepo, and Tumananta Kana Kana, Eloshanda, supernatural growth after the order of the acts of the apostles, thereby establish her as an ever increasing city without walls, Elamo Shanta, Rataka Patale, and Supreketelia, and Nomene Katala, Zekotomi, and Banana Nalkanosia. Father, we Thank you. Lift up your hands. God has heard us. In Jesus' holy name, we are praying. Hands together for Jesus, and please be seated. In a moment, we are going to rise to pray. And this time we're saying, Father, let the irresistible alarm of the Holy Ghost sound across our harvest field thereby drafting unprecedented multitudes into our services this coming Sunday. Say louder, amen. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 26, he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far and will hasten to them from the end of the earth and behold, they will come with speed swiftly. Shall we rise on our feet this morning and lift our voices as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the irresistible alarm of the Holy Ghost sound across our harvest field, thereby drafting unprecedented multitudes into our services this coming Sunday. Lift your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. We are asking the Holy Ghost to sound his alarm, that irresistible alarm, across the length and breadth of our harvest field. Holy Spirit of God, let your alarm sound forth across the length and breadth of our harvest field. Let it be heard all over Lagos. Let it be heard all over Ota. Lord, hiss and let them come with speed swiftly to this holy mountain. This coming Sunday, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are asking, oh Lord, that you will cause your irresistible alarm to sound across our harvest field thereby drafting unprecedented multitudes into our services this coming Sunday. 
Lift your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Only the Holy Ghost can make a sound at the frequency that every human ear can hear. Our Father, we are asking that you do it again like you did on the day of Pentecost. You noised abroad your mighty arrival and the people rushed in their multitudes to be gathered at the upper room. Lord, we are asking that today you will cause your alarm to sound across the entirety of Lagos. You will cause it to sound across the whole of Ota. You will cause it to sound in every community. You will cause it to sound in every locality. You will cause it to sound on the streets, on the highways, in the hedges, in the byways, causing the multitudes to begin to rush out to this church this coming Sunday. Let the alarm be sounded loud and clear across the entirety of our harvest field. Holy Spirit of God, we are asking right now, you will cause your alarm to go forth across the land and the breath of our harvest field, causing the multitudes to come forth in their droves to our services this coming Sunday, the first, second, and third. Let them come rushing with speed swiftly, nothing holding them back, nothing restraining them. Are you praying this morning? Make sure your voice is heard on high. You are praying right now, both in the language of the Spirit and also in your understanding, but you are engaging with fervency. You are engaging with passion. You are calling upon the name of the Lord. My Father, let the irresistible alarm of the Holy Ghost sound across our harvest field, causing men, causing women to rush quickly to this holy mountain, causing boys, causing girls to rush swiftly to this holy mountain. In the name of Jesus, let the alarm sound. Let the alarm sound. Let the alarm sound. Lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. You are praying in faith. You are praying with confidence. You are praying with fervency. Ima galade ke luke puna made reketo sevile keto kebo mata la barakatanato em brancosia kalaka ele kento predi severia la banakataria tano oh my lord and my god let the irresistible alarm of the holy ghost sound across the length and breadth of our harvest field thereby drafting unprecedented multitudes into our services this coming Sunday, the order we have never seen before, let them come, let them come, let them come. We we'll speak swiftly. Let them come Unrestri unrestricted. Let them come unrestrained in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand, lift your voice, glorify God this morning. Father, thank you for it. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Give Jesus a big hand. Please be seated. Praise the Lord. Next, we shall be praying our personal supplication. We have the opportunity to go before the Lord and give expression to the desires of our hearts before him in prayer right now. As we do so, let's remember to give priority to the matters of the kingdom and then any other personal issue of our lives. Our anchor scripture shall be from Mark 10:27. The B part of it tells us with God, all things are possible. How many things? How many things? That includes your own thing and my own thing. Therefore, please rise up on your feet or take any position at this time. You know, we help you to engage your heart. Knowing fully well, all things, all things, less nothing, all things are possible with our God. Let's speak to him right now. Take advantage of the day of the morning. Pour out your soul unto him. Do it with passion. Do it with faith and do it with focus.
Now begin to perfect your prayer in the Holy Ghost and begin to thank God right now for answered prayers. Nothing impossible. You have asked, God has answered. Now profusely give him thanks. Lift up your hands to God if you can and glorify his name right now for answered prayers. Somebody is thanking the Lord right now. Thank him some more. Maro bakatada ya maro makoshi. Ega dalara ya babara makotedia. Anima muraba kata dayama e probaga layama koshedia. Father, we thank you for answer prayers even now. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please take your seat. Put your hands together for the Lord. Let's celebrate Jesus some more this morning. It is testimony time. Say it confidently, my breakthrough time. Number one, career spell broken via post-resurrection encounter. I want to thank God for confirming the word of his servant in my life. I have been engaging in kingdom advancement endeavors since 2018 and I've hit strange breakthroughs breakthroughs of career and marital settlement validated the liberation mandate. However, I have a spell of career stagnation for a while and I've been believing God I've been believing God and engaging his word and prophetic instruction accordingly. When the 40 days post-resurrection season was declared, I tie my faith to it and believe God for a change. To the glory of God, the resurrected Christ appeared and manifested himself in my case as after a series of interviews for two weeks, I received by mail a job offer with mouth-watering benefits. Hallelujah. To God alone, be all the glory. The testifier is Jibola S. Please put your hands together for Jesus. Number two, 15 years glaucoma disappeared. For 15 years, I suffered glaucoma, and at a point, it became very difficult to see with my right eyes. I have gone to different hospitals in different states for treatment to no avail. After a series of scans, the last doctor I visited told me that my eyes can never be healed. But immediately I rejected the report and declared that if Bishop Oedepo is not blind, I cannot be blind. Thereafter, I took advantage of Operation 615 for my healing. While I prayed for soul for two hours every day, I told God that only someone with clear sight can go out for soul winning. Meanwhile, during the healing service, I prayed earnestly and believed God for my healing. Instantly, I felt that my sight was cleared. Amen. If you are putting your hands together, please make it bigger for Jesus. And the pain in my eyes disappeared. Since then till now, I have been seen clearly. I return all the glory to God. The testifier is Helen Osebeyo. Please, shall we rise on our feet this morning and put our hands together for Jesus, the doer of all this testimony. Make it bigger and stronger for him right now. clapping for Jesus. Let's make it bigger this morning for those wonderful testimonies of his great heart. It deserves our praise. Shall we therefore lift our hands and uh, let's thank him again this morning for the privilege of appearance in his presence. Let's give him all the glory and the praise for this brand new day. Unto him that hears prayer shall all flesh come. And we have come again this morning. We have prayed 
We are confident he has heard us. So we are grateful, Jesus. We thank you, our Father. We thank you, our Lord. Take all the glory and the praise for diverse appearances in this post-resurrection season. Would somebody like to thank God again? Father, I thank you for your appearance to me. Thank you and thank you. Shall we go ahead and ask for a word this morning again? Jesus, I ask for a word from you, a word from heaven. Speak to me this morning. Give me more understanding in your word and also empower me by your word. And let my engagement and commitment be on the increase by the reason of the impartation of your spirit that comes via your word this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you again this morning. Take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And somebody say louder, amen. Please give Jesus a big hand of praise and be seated. Praise God, fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen. This morning, it's my privilege given to me by God and my Father to bring us a word of exhortation in this covenant hour of prayer. My prayer this morning is that every one of us shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. God's servant, our Father, began with us since Monday on the subject commitment to every move of God moves God's people forward. Commitment to every move of God moves God's people forward. Someone here this morning is a nest to go forward in Jesus' name. We've been told that the move of God or what we call the move of the spirit in the midst of the people is what we call revival. And it has a two-way mission. Number one, it imparts on the church in terms of growth. And number two, it imparts on the people in terms of change of story. So primarily, as we have been told, Reviver is a platform for the advancement, the growth, and the expansion of the kingdom of God. And we see the proof of this when the first revival broke out in Acts of the Apostles. In Acts chapter 2, we read from 37 to 41. And the end of that story in 41 is about 3,000 people were added to the church one day. By Acts chapter 4 and verse 4, 5,000 people were added in the midst of revival. By Acts chapter 5 and verse 14, multitude of people, both of men and women, were added to the church. Not only that, by Acts chapter 14, we see, I mean, Acts chapter 13 verse 44, we see that almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. Why? Revival breaking loose everywhere. Revival brings about the growth of the church. And also, in Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 19 to 21, we see how this imparts on the people. It says, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them, they shall not be few, I will also glorify them, they shall not be small. And their children shall be as a full time, and their congregation shall be established before me. Then I will polish them, that oppress them. All this happened in revival, but see the aftermath. Verse 21. And their nobles shall be of themselves. Nobles will start coming out of them. Their governors shall proceed from the midst of them. There is leaders in every facet of life shall be imagined from among the people. Because in the midst of revival is the decoration of the people of God. 
and the change of story of the people. In other words, in a revival, the church grows and the people glow. In a revival, the church grows and the people of God glows. But our commitment, which is our faithful and fruitful engagement in a revival, is what defines our place and also determines our part in the revival. Our commitment. And that's the key word this morning. Somebody may ask me, what is commitment? Commitment is a willingness to give your time and energy to a cause. Willingness to invest your time. Choice to invest your time and energy to a cause is what we call commitment. It is something that you must do and that takes your time. It takes time. It is dedication to a cause. In other words, it is not a wish or a desire. It is practical engagement that you know. So commitment to the move of the spirit can be said to be giving your time and energy to the advancement, to the growth, and to the expansion of the kingdom of God. That is what commitment to the move of the Spirit is. Giving your time, your energy, investing your resources to the growth, to the advancement, to the expansion of the kingdom of God. It is practical and fruitful engagement in kingdom advancement and divorce. Our practical engagement in kingdom advancement and divorce. Either by engaging fervently on the altar of prayer. Praying for the kingdom. Praying for the growth of the kingdom. For souls to be saved. Praying that, that the kingdom of God uh, will expand here on earth. Or by practically going out to see souls saved. Practically going out to preach the kingdom. And inviting men and women to God. Something about commitment is. You cannot be committed and not know. Why? It takes your time. It takes your energy. So someone can begin to ask. How committed am I in this season? It's simple. You can easily know. By how much time do I put into it. We saw in the testimony read to us this morning, the man said, I was engaging two hours on the prayer altar. Yes, I had a challenge with my right eye. I could not see with my eye, but I was investing two hours of prayer time. And then, not enough, I desired to go out. So, he told God, only the person that can see clearly can go for soul winning. And then, engaging also, God healed him of his eyes. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. That is what commitment is. You know it. You know the time you are putting in. You know the direction of your energy. And until that is done, you may not be committed. And our father, in the faith, the apostle over this commission has told us again and again, one cannot be committed and not be creative. You cannot be creative and not be productive. And you cannot be productive and not be successful. So result in our endeavor is a function of our commitment. And so when we are truly committed, then we will truly have results. My prayer is somebody will have results in this is in the name of Jesus. Finally this morning somebody may say, what is a revival for me? Number one, every revival is a platform. For assessing our high places in life. Someone, you are assessing your high places this time. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 2. Oh God, in the midst of the year, revive thy work. That was the prayer of Habakkuk. For revival. And in the midst of revival, verse 17. Although the fig tree may not blossom. Neither shall there be fruit in the vines. The labor of olive shall fail. The fish shall you know me. The flock may be cut off from the fold and there shall be no head in the stall. He said, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Because in revival, there is the joy of revival. The joy of harvest. 
which comes and revive her. Now look at verse 19. The Lord God is my strength. It will make my feet like the hands and it will make me to walk upon my high places. That means in revival, there is a supernatural change of story that takes people higher, that takes people up. Our father said to us on Monday, one cannot be on board a train and be stranded at the train station at the same time. One cannot be on board a flight and be left on the ground. No. Because the altitude of the aircraft is the altitude of everyone on board. So, when we are engaged in a revival, we also assess our high places in life. Outstanding business breakthroughs. That's high place. Promotions. Liftings. That's high place. And that's where someone is going this time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. In every revival... God eradicates shame and reproach. God takes away reproaches of the people. When we bring people to Jesus, Jesus cleans them. Jesus cleans them, takes away their reproaches, takes away their shame, and beautifies them with glory. And no one can be committed to bringing people to Jesus to glorify them and be left in shame. No. You can't bring people to Jesus to beautify, and then Jesus will leave you in ugliness. No, that's why in every revival, as God is claiming people, Zephaniah chapter 3, 17, down to 20, as God is taking away the reproach of the people, he's also beautifying you. He said, I will glorify them, and they will not be small, remember? In Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30, the Bible says, He that winneth souls is wise. And in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 35, he makes us understand there that the wise shall inherit glory. So everyone that is engaging revival is inheriting glory at the hand. The good news this, this morning is your labor in this ongoing revival is not in vain. Let me hear your believing. Amen. Your labor in this ongoing revival is not in vain. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. He said, therefore, my beloved, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abandoned in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your labor is not in vain. And another good news is, you cannot be committed to the works of revival and be omitted from the blessings that comes from the Lord. According to Matthew chapter 24, 45 to 47, he said, blessed is the man whom when his master shall come, shall find so doing, that faithful servant. He said, he shall make him ruler over his house. That is the portion of somebody here this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. The charge, therefore, to every one of us this morning is, let us stay committed and let us keep moving. And before we know it, we are there. You will get them in Jesus' name. Please rise to your faith. Lord, grace to stay committed. Grace to keep moving. I receive it right now. Jesus, grace to stay committed. Grace to keep moving. Somebody lift your voice and pray this morning. Jesus, grace to stay committed and grace to keep moving. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Somebody's praying. Lift your voice and ask him right now for grace. The grace to stay committed. The grace to keep moving, to keep acting, to keep taking steps, to keep producing results in my stewardship. Let that grace be made available. Let that grace be made available. Let that grace be made available. Father, thank you for it. And blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. As you have demanded, that grace is made available for you. In Jesus' precious name. You believe God, say aloud, loud amen. For that word from God, give Jesus a big, big hand of praise. It's worthy of all the glory. Praise God. We have our flyers for Sunday, Covenant Day of Long Life. Stretch your hand forward and let's declare right now the breath of the Spirit of God upon every flyer that is going out across the entirety of our harvest field. Wherever these flyers are found, Lagos, or the environs, they are going forth as sharp sickles. Every flyer represents a soul. Not one flyer shall be wasted. Every single flyer will produce at least one individual brought into God's presence this coming Sunday 
for an encounter with the Most High in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Lord, we send this forth as paper missionaries and we decree that they are returning with a great harvest. Thank you, Father, for it. In Jesus' precious name. You believe God say loud, amen. Now begin to make your declarations concerning the day. The word says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. So don't just watch the day, command the day. Don't just watch the day, command the day. The day is commanded to be blessed, commanded to be a day of testimonies, to be a day of encounters, to be a day of visitations. In the name of Jesus, is commanded to be a day to be much remembered. Lord, let light come forth today. Let today be a day of unusual visitation. Let it be a day of clear court testimonies. Let it be a day of supernatural transformation. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. As you have declared this morning, so is it done unto you. The day is commanded to be blessed. Everywhere you go today, blessings trail you. Everywhere you are located today, favor trails you. In the name of Jesus Christ, no evil is permitted to befall you. You are going out in peace today. You are returning with testimonies today. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go and be blessed as you do.